YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a lovely pair of loafers to go through with you and they're from Grant Stone. So let's get right into it. <music> So like I said in my previous video, it's been some time and you know, I've been a little bit busy with life. So a lot of the stuff has built up and I've got a lot of stuff to film. And one of them is this, this is a pair of loafers from Grant Stone. In fact, it is the travel traveler penny loafer uh, from Grant Stone. And you guys might know about this. It's kind of a cult classic in the, in the scene. A lot of people like to talk about it on uh, Reddit, on Instagram, so on and so forth. And especially in the Chrome Excel June natural color, which has a nice kind of aging patina to it as you wear it and, and, and sort of make it your own. So thank you to the guys at Grand Stone. They actually sent these to me uh, for free to, to review. So I uh, thank you to got you guys. And uh, you know, if you're out there and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do because it helps me get stuff like this to review for you. So if you're looking to get these next year or you know next spring, next summer, uh, hopefully if you follow along, I'll have some updates for you on how it ages, how it fits, how it feels and how I, you know, what I think about it. But anyway, let's go and have a look at what they look like. As I said, these are the Traveler Penny Loafers from uh, Grant Stone. So the, the one thing about these, if you're familiar with loafers and moccasins, moccasins are very much the flat, you know, the campsole, the kind of no step in them. Whereas these are uh, loafers, penny loafers, they have that step there, a bit more dressy. I mean, I'm no expert on loafers whatsoever, uh, but for me, I see these as a more of a dressy kind of shoe. Uh, these are uh, kind of a, a shoe that people are saying are very comfortable and you can wear them any day to any event. But personally for me, I'll be wearing these to things like weddings, uh, you know, dinners, uh, special nights out, that kind of thing. And I'll be keeping my moccasins and, and those kind of shoes for just more casual wear. Now I have worn these a couple times and as I said in the beginning, uh, we are now in fall, in autumn and going into winter. Uh, so I'm not gonna get to wear these as much. So I've, I've left it a bit late on these. I've worn them five or six times into London, into work. Uh, I find them you know, very, very stiff to start off with. And all reports say that these are, you know, I can't even, you know, do that whereas other loafers and moccasins I have you know you can fully bend but they get better with time and you know you put the effort into them and they'll just look amazing now as I said these are uh, Chrome Excel, natural Chrome Excel from the Hallwain Leather Company. Uh, they smell amazing like if you've ever, ever had anything uh, that is um, Chrome Excel, you know that smell. If you have them in a cupboard, closet, whatever, you open it up and you can smell them from a mile away. And it is, it is just, I love it. Now these will age and patina very uniquely. No hide is the same. They all uh, age differently. Uh, I've seen online a lot of pictures where this uh, strap over the top, I don't know what it's called, sorry, forgive me. Put it in the comments down below if you do know. This strap over the top goes a bit darker than the rest of the shoe, uh, but each one I've seen is, is very different. Now, another thing I see on Reddit uh, is a lot of people talking about the creases along here uh, and how some of them are uniformed with each shoe. They kind of crease at the same point and some people seem to like that. Uh, but it's a it's a thing, right, to, to see where the creases are in this natural Chrome Excel. I think uh, Chrome Excel is one of the um, most stretchiest kind of leathers there is out there. So uh, with a lot of wear, uh, these will conform to your feet. They do say that you should have a little bit of heel slip. So when you get them, uh, they should, uh, you know, you, you might feel a little bit of heel slip and, and that's quite normal because as the, the shoe kind of molds to your feet over time, that heel slip will dissipate. Now, the first ones I got on these were a 11. Now these are a 10.5. I got an 11 on these and that I was literally, they were like clogs, I was falling out of them. Uh, the guys did tell me that they will get better, but no, they were I sized wrong. And if you guys have seen my previous videos on my boots and my other moccasins that I've got, you'll know that I've really messed up my shoe size. I don't really know what my shoe size is, but these are a 10.5 D uh, and they fit really good. A little bit of a heel slip, but as I said, they're super stiff, haven't worn them in as yet. And um, they're gonna get really, really good. Now these are a good year construction they've got vegetable tan insoles they've got kip lining leather as well and uh yeah that hallween natural june chrome xl is just uh something to die for construction wise these are i think they're actually made in china believe it or not but they are solid there's no stitch that has come undone anywhere at all and uh I, as i said it's they're super super solid uh and you can just see that they're going to last a very long time now you can find reviews about these anywhere online, but obviously the, the thought of this channel and the, the theory behind this channel is to sort of give my thoughts on what I think of things, how I'm gonna wear them and how they wear. 
Now, as I said, these are very new, so I've not really worn them enough to give you kind of my opinion thoughts, but I will do that in the coming months in the you know, spring time. What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna try and wear them in the summer, uh, in the spring and summer to kind of more dressy events and to say work, for instance. Uh, but the way I wear and where, where I live and the way I wear shoes, this is very kind of too dressy for me almost. Uh, so I'm in my head, I'm kind of hoping that I can persist with these enough that they break in so much that they don't feel as dressy. But at the moment, because they've got the this kind of uh, hard sole, I forget what you call it, um, and the step as well, for me, they feel very, very formal shoes. But from all reports online, everyone says they're an everyday wear shoe. They're very comfortable. They're very casual. Um, so I'm going to persist with them. I, I do love the look of them and I really hope that I can, I can get them to that point where they, I just throw them on and, and they're very, very easy to wear. Now, that being said, you've seen where I live before. I live around fields, I live around muddy areas and, um, you know, rocky paths and that kind of stuff. So they're not, they're not very suited. I have tried to wear these out around here and I, they're just stupid. You know, I can't, I have to wear them into London or when I'm going out to a restaurant or something like that. But they are an uh, incredible shoe, incredible smell. And talking about unboxing, now let's have a look at the box. Now, when we're talking about premium shoes, you know you get a really nice box. And for some people that, who cares, other people kind of like that experience. And for those people that love the kind of unboxing experience, sorry, I haven't done that this time. I'm just showing you uh, the unboxing experience. I'm not doing an ASMR or anything like that. But they come with a really nice, I think it's like a canvas kind of uh, wrap instead of you know the tissue paper you get which I, th I think sometimes feels a little bit cheap this is more quality you can smell the leather still that's in the box uh, you've got all the usual bits and pieces which tells you about the boots about the company uh, and then you know if you have any questions you know who you purchased it from who stopped who packed it etc etc further further down you have you know the the bags that each individual shoe comes in which is great they are super super soft and then the thing I really, oh, there's, there's also some soft padding at the bottom as well um, to make sure they um, arrive safe and sound. But uh, the best one, well, but the best thing I like about it is they've sent you, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of boot companies will put like shoe cream and all that kind of stuff. They didn't in this one, but they gave you a, uh, a tongue as well. So um, this is really good. It also it turns out it's a bottle opener, which is brilliant. Now these retail at around 362 US dollars, which I think is pretty good compared to other uh, loafers in the same kind of bracket. Uh, they come in a load of different colors. So obviously this is the most popular one, which is the, Drew, the June Chrome XL, but they have crimson. They have a really cool bourbon suede as well, which really I would like that one, but I don't know if it would suit this area. But um, yeah, these are really cool. Every time I look at photos on of people wearing them, they look, they look casual, they look really good. People were wearing with jeans and you know shorts and that kind of stuff. So I really need to persist with them. It's a new look for me. That's why I'm, you know, for me looking down seeing these, it feels a bit uh, odd. And because they're still so stiff, I probably feel like I'm, you know, a bit uncomfortable in them, but they, they are super comfortable to wear and they look good. So I'm gonna be persisting with these. Come back and see me in a few months time in uh, spring and summer when these are fully, hopefully uh, worn in and I'll let you know what I think about them. But yeah, thank you very much to Grant Stone. Um, check them out. I'm gonna drop some links below to these ones and also some of the other colors they've got because they're really, really cool. Uh, and, and that's it. Guys, if you're new around here and you've just found this channel recently and you notice I haven't put any videos up, I've been kind of busy, but I've got a lot of stuff coming. So please hit that red subscribe button. It helps me get stuff from guys like Grant Stone and bring it to you guys for some really honest reviews. With all that being said, guys, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.